Alrighty, today I'm going to show everybody how to make moonshine and therefore you will know how to make your own still. Now we're going to make just a simple still fits on your stove top. So the easiest way to do it, the best way to do it is to find a pressure cooker. You know the kind you got this little ball on it and uh, when it builds pressure it goes and uh, so that's what we have here. I uh, got this one for three dollars at a yard sale which uh, I purchased this many months ago knowing in mind that this is what I was going to use it for. Now to make it a still is very easy. The reason you want a pressure cooker is you need a sealed unit and a pressure cooker has a uh, locking cap with a rubber ring in it. It also has a little safety here to keep you from accidentally opening it up. Now the only thing you have to do to convert this is you have two things on here and you have to take one of them off and put a fitting on here. Now this one was the smaller of the two and this will also serve as a safety if anything more than I don't know if you can see the markings on here but there's a uh, there's a 5 there's a 10 and there's a 15 on here so then there's three different holes and uh, so if it gets if it gets to the number in a PSI that's when it will start uh, hissing that so you can just leave that on there as a uh, safety device now here is the one that we took off this one had the bigger hole easier to find a fitting for I just took the cap well I took both the fittings off that were on here with a wrench took it into the hardware store looked through the fittings and found which one had the best chance of finding a fitting for it. I don't know if you can see this, but this hole is slightly bigger than this one. Uh, this one was the emergency relief. If it got too much pressure, it just blew. And then you have to replace the whole insert. You have to screw on an old one out and screw a new one in. Uh, so we don't need the emergency blow. What we have here is we have our we have this one in case it got too much pressure. So here's where we have our fitting. Right here. It just went in with a wrench. No need to do anything special to it. It's already threaded. And there we have the base of our still. All you have to do pour some alcohol in there or mash you can even distill that uh, two dollar wine that mad dog or wild Irish rose I've distilled wild Irish rose before it works pretty good just to get things uh, just so you know what you're doing there's the first part of our still now the second part of our still you need a coil and there's our coil all I did was find the tubing that fits into that fitting and it has a uh, pressure fitting on it right there a little, a little ring it slides over the copper and then when you fasten it down it squeezes everything tight now the hardest part is getting this thing just right I mean just right what we have here is we have 10 feet I don't know what size this is I think it's like uh, an eighth well it's one of the smaller sizes definitely people usually go larger but this was good enough and this was 10 feet see it didn't go very far uh, important thing to get is that the coil has to be gradually going down you have to constantly check it as you're bending it 
to make sure that there's no that there's no humps in there. There's no uphill for for the alcohol to travel down. It's got to be a constant gravity fed spiral or else it won't work very well. You'll get this one spot where you'll get a build up and it won't flow until you have an X amount of alcohol sitting in the coil. You want to be able to, I don't know if you can see this, turn this around. You see that there is no uphill battle. It, it, once it starts to spiral down, gravity takes it and there's no spot where it starts going up again. It's just gradually all goes down until it gets to the spout. And that's the tricky part. There's just a simple bend. Try to get that to go down. Get a uh, canister of some kind. This is this canister here is from a empty bottle of distilled vinegar. Just cut the top off and you also have a funnel. And all you gotta do is poke a hole in the end, glue it real good to seal it. I don't care what you use, you can use epoxy. Epoxy would work the best. This is just regular old um, cement glue cement. I found it at the dollar store for a dollar. Okay, I'll try that. Sealed it pretty good. So there's coil. Now you're going to have to elevate it slightly. So there's our elevation. And hook it together. And it goes together just like that. Get a wrench and just snug it up. And it's a perfectly sealed unit. Okay. Now before using your still, you should clean it out with some ordinary distilled white vinegar. Just pour it into the pot. Put the lid on it and seal it all up, make the connection. And just turn on the flame and let it work through. Don't bother putting any water in the condenser. Just let the steam work through it. Okay, you can hear the vinegar starting to boil. Coil's getting hot. and it'll drip for a minute until the whole coil heats up. So this is still cold. The top is hot to touch. So when the whole thing... there we go. The all steam is starting to come out of there. And that's how you clean it out real good. Just go ahead and let that run through. It gets to stinking pretty good because of the vinegar. Make sure you got your windows open. And then when you get done with this, you can go ahead and just run some water through it. And then just constantly taste the water coming out. 
see if you have it clean enough. 